Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about Rose Bay's attack, which is um the CVE 2019-0708 Blue Keep. Now we're going to um talk about what is CVE 2019-0708 Blue Keep. How does it work on um, potential and the risk and how to protect against Blue Keep attack? Now uh, Blue Keep is a remote code execution vulnerability is exploited when an unindicated attacker con connects to a target system using the RDP and then sends uh, specifically a drafted request. Now the blue key vulnerability was made public by Microsoft in May 2019. And the blue key exploit module can be used to exploit variable Windows systems and consequently provide us with a privileged metaprinter session on the target system. The blue key uh, vulnerability affects multiple versions of Windows, such as the um, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows Server 28, 2008, and R2. Note that the uh, targeting kernel space memory and application can cause system crashes. Every the uh, blue key exploit takes advantage of a vulnerability on the Windows RDP protocol that allows attackers to gain access to a chunk of kernel memory, consequently allowing them to remotely execute arbitrary codes to the system level without authentication. The key area you need to know to focus more on is the kernel memory. Uh, how does it work? Now, the blue key vulnerability allows threats actors to send specifically crafted packets to one of the Windows OS operating system that have RDB enabled. After successfully sending a packet, the threat actor would have the ability to perform a number of actions, which is adding accounts with a full user rights, viewing, changing, and deleting of data, ins installing an application on that particular um, Windows. So, on potential risk, uh, blue keep still represents a risk that would affect anyone that still uses unsupported Windows operating systems. So just more like um, it affects Windows 7 downwards. So if you are using a Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11, um, I can't really say you are safe, but it's likely that you can't be vulnerable to attack that well. So attackers exploiting blue keep could hack into a machine without and appropriate patches or updates installed, just like what I said, if you are using Windows 7 downward. So just know that um, and hack, um, attackers exploiting Blue Keep could hack into your machine. You understand? If you are not using the um, appropriate patches or updates that are required to be installed on that particular OS, then another risk associated with um, the vulnerability is the vulnerable characteristics. Now, the fact that Microsoft has labeled Blue Keep as a vulnerable means that the threat could spread widely without any user interaction. So, I have an idea about the uh, destruct destructive capabilities of vulnerable vulnerabilities. We can take the famous example of WannaCry. How to protect against the Blue Keep? Now, there are various ways in which um, we can protect against the blue keep attack. You have the patching secure machines, you have the update to a new uh, Windows version, you have the block transmission control protocol TCP that is on port 3389, then enable network control, educate users. So for the particular, for this first one, patch and secure machines, now, failure to update systems to the latest update or version exposes users' data to theft. And if the device is a business computer, exposes confidential com um, content details. So patching is most efficient practice users and in a company can employ to protect themselves, not know only from um, blue keep attack, but also from odd any other source of um, variability. So, blue, um, 
Microsoft has made sec uh, security fixes available to close the vulnerabilities. Microsoft has made patches available as well for a variety of legacy software that are no longer maintained by companies such as the Windows Vista, the um, Windows XP, Windows Server 23, 2003, as I earlier said. So update to a newer Windows version. So Bookkeep affects Windows version up to Windows 7, just like what I said. So from Windows XP to Windows 7, so Bluekeep attack can um, practically affect it. So automatically updating a version that is newer than Windows 7, which is Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, Windows 11, will guarantee you protection over your system. So log transmission control protocol, that is the TCP on port 3389. Because 3389 is used to initiate a RDP session, locking it at an enterprise parameter firewall prevents the attacker from um, exploiting Bluekeep from outside the user's network. Although, keep in mind that this will block legitimate RDP session and may not prevent unauthenticated section from being initiated inside the network. So um, the next one is, Enable network control. Organizations need to enable um, network level authentication, that is the NLE, which gives them control over the users who can who connect to their systems and prevent unauthorized access to their data and resources. This also helps them to block unauthorized users looking at exploits looking at exploiting the blue key vulnerability to attack the organization. And we have the um, to educate users. So the patching system installing the latest software and protecting network, it's also critical to be aware that the latest risk of cybersecurity threat landscape. Now users may um, user must take such user may So users must uh, make sure that they are aware of the hazards, that is the dangers that are of their system being exposed and are able to see the signals of that particular um, potential risk or attack. And in addition, network administration administrators need to block the TCP ports 3389 and disable unused RDB service and enabling network level authentication in RDB services, which prevents um, attackers from performing remote code execution without valid credentials. So this comes to the end of today's class and see you in our next class. Thank you.